Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a really simple origami paper pocket and all you need is one piece of construction paper and two pieces of invisible tape. So I'm going to start by asking you guys to turn your papers long ways. If they are long ways like this, you need to turn it to the side. Okay, then you're going to take your paper and fold it in half, hot dog style. You're going to turn it upside down so that the fold is facing the top of your desk. Then you're going to take your hot dog bun and you're going to make it into a hamburger bun. Fold it hamburger ways in half. And you're going to open it up again. So you have a long hamburger with a ridge down the middle. Then you're going to take one of your sides, it doesn't matter which one it is, you're going to take the sharp edge and turn it into the middle fold that you just made. Okay, so if you didn't catch that, first you had this ridge right here. You're gonna take one side, it doesn't matter which one, it's the sharp edge with the flap, you're gonna turn it in. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so right now you have two barn doors. Then, this is the tricky part, you're going to open one of the corner flaps. You're going to take this hand and stick your finger inside to the corner, right here. To make sure it's in the corner, you'll feel it with your finger. You just press with your other one, and then you see this ridge, you're going to press it to the center to make a house. You're going to do the same thing with the other side. You're going to open the flap, put your finger into the corner, you're going to push it over, put the middle ridge down, make it a house. Now you got this weird cool looking airplane thing. You're going to turn it over so that you don't see any of the flaps right here. You're going to turn it upside down and you're going to take one triangle side, turn it into the middle ridge again. You're going to do the same with the other side. You take a wing, turn it into the middle. Now you turn your pocket upside down again. Now you should have the two flaps facing the head of your desk and your unflapped end facing toward you. What you're going to do is you're going to take the flap, make sure that both is attached, take the very head, turn it into the bottom of the triangle, fold it in half. Okay, so you take the head with the sharp edges, make sure it's the whole thing, turn it down to the bottom of your triangle. You're going to take that same strip Fold it down again so the bottom of your triangle is covered. Then guess what? You're going to turn it around, do the same thing with your other side. Take the top sharp edges, fold it into the bottom of your triangle. It's okay if your folds aren't perfect, the pocket will work. Then you take it one more time and fold it down. This is where your invisible tape comes in. You see how your pocket works? It opens and it closes. But to make sure that it doesn't rip on the edges, we're going to take the invisible tape. Your teacher should already have this on your desk. You take your tape and you fold the two flaps down like this. You see, it makes it a whole lot sturdier. So we're going to do the same thing with the other side. And there you go. There's your pocket. All done.